When we hear about world war, usually the countries like Germany, US, Britain and Japan will come to our mind. Since India was under British control, around 4 million Indian soldiers were sent to the battlefields. Indian soldiers had a very important role behind the victory of Great Britain in World War 1 and World War 2. Ships, transports, tanks, men, planes all flung themselves simultaneously upon a defenseless country. This video is about the battle of Imphal, Kohima. It was voted as Britain's greatest battle by the National Army Museum in London, edging out the famous Waterloo and Normandy landings. In 1942, Japanese army occupied Burma by defeating the Commonwealth forces. British army divisions retreated to Imphal after the defeat. British then reinforced the army infrastructure at Imphal by forming the 23rd Indian Division stationed in Manipur. In March 1944, Japanese army began an advance against India's northeast frontier to forestall a planned British invasion of Burma. They intended to capture the British supply bases on the Imphal plain and cut the road linking Dimapur and Imphal at Kohima. With Imphal in their hands, the Japanese would be able to interrupt air supplies to China. It would also give them a base from which they can conduct air attacks against India, which could have opened the whole of India for the Axis to take over. Japan had the support of Indian National Army for fighting against the British. In early April 1944, the Indian troops at Kohima and Imphal were surrounded by Japanese soldiers. They broke the road link between Imphal and Dimapur by bombing and held siege over Imphal for three months. From 3rd to 16th April, the Japanese attempted to capture Kohima Ridge, a feature which dominated the road by which Imphal were getting supplies. From 18th April to 13th May, British and Indian reinforcements counterattacked to drive Japanese from the positions they had captured. Japanese abandoned the ridge at this point but continued to block the Kohima Imphal road. From 16th May to 22nd June, British and Indian troops pursued the retreating Japanese and reopened the road. Japanese without air support or supplies eventually became exhausted and allied forces soon pushed them out of Kohima. Battle ended on 22nd June when British and Indian troops from Kohima reached the men at Imphal, signaling the end of the siege of Imphal. Fighting here was so intense that it continued even after siege had been lifted. Japanese had to withdraw their troops as they were not receiving any supply of food or weapons. Most important contribution to the Allied victory was made by both British and American transport aircraft. By the end of the battle, Allied air forces had flown 19,000 tons of supplies and 12,000 men into Kohima and Imphal. They also flown out 13,000 casualties and 43,000 non-combatants. Defeated Kohima and Imphal was the largest defeat to that date in Japanese history. This battle has been termed as the Normandy of the East. Battle for Kohima became a turning point in Burma campaign. It stopped the Japanese march into Asia. 55,000 Japanese soldiers lost their lives in Imphal and 7,000 in Kohima mostly from starvation, disease and exhaustion. 18,000 British and Indian soldiers also lost their lives. Commonwealth War Graves Commission is responsible for the continued commemoration of 1.7 million deceased Commonwealth military service members in 153 countries. We have 8 World War cemeteries in India. Several Indian servicemen who lost and sacrificed their lives are honored and being paid homage in some of these cemeteries. Kohima War Cemetery is a memorial dedicated to soldiers of the 2nd British Division of Allied Forces. who died in second world war at kohima there are 1420 commonwealth burials of the second world war at this cemetery and a memorial to an additional 917 hindu and sikh soldiers who were cremated in accordance with their faith imphal war cemetery has 16000 commonwealth burials of the second world war the war dead commemorated are from many commonwealth countries such as united kingdom canada australia india East Africa, West Africa and Burma. Kirki War Cemetery holds the graves of 1668 Commonwealth personnel from World War II and 629 from World War I. Ranji is the smallest concentration cemetery in India. 
There are now 704 Commonwealth servicemen of the Second World War buried or commemorated in this cemetery. Guwahati War Cemetery was started during the Second World War for burials from several military hospitals in the area. Later, other graves were brought in by the Army Grave Service from different places. Commonwealth War Graves Commission records 1154 burials in the Delhi War Cemetery. The graves contain remains of citizens of United Kingdom, India, Netherlands, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and Poland from World War I and World War II. Bhuvanipur Cemetery contains 95 Commonwealth burials of the First World War. Second World War burials number 617. The Commission also has responsibility for the care of 233 non-war burials in this cemetery. Madras War Cemetery contains 856 Commonwealth burials of the Second World War. The Madras 1914-1918 memorial is situated at the rear of the cemetery. It bears the names of more than 1000 servicemen who died during the First World War. Many people are going to these places just to take some selfies. Along the taking photos, we should remember and respect the service these soldiers did for the country.